Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make this toaster. And you can actually lift your toast up and down when you have it in there. This is the first one, so it's a little bit different than the other ones, but I'm going to show you how to do it. When you purchase the kit, you're going to have multiple pieces. You're going to have to wipe your kit off to remove the laser marks, which is just the nature of the beast, unfortunately. And then you'll have all these pieces now I put masking tape on this because I taped this together a long time ago when I made it and I just never got to putting it together so yours won't have masking tape on it yours will just be in a bag As you can see, here's a penny, and here is the size of the difference. Okay, so you're going to have one that looks like a C, or a U rather, and then you'll have two that look like a C. The first step you need to do is if you're going to paint it, you want to go ahead and paint it. Um, for the interior part first. For me, I didn't paint the inside, but for you, I'm going to show you a tip that I like to do with this just because it's dark inside of it. I just take a Sharpie and I put it on the parts that I know is going to be seen. This is the wood side, so you want to keep that out. This is the side that is the back that does not have the pattern printed on it. So we're not going to mess with the wood grain side because I want to put actual paint on that when it's finished. Okay, these are our toast. So you should have two that look like this two that look like this and one that looks like that and then you should have this one this is the inner bottom now I'm going to paint that now if you're going to paint your toaster any other color like how this is silver and this one is white this piece here don't put any sharpie on it because you won't be able to go over it with the paint because sharpie is you can't paint over sharpie very easily however I'm gonna end up doing this one black because I absolutely like the black it's just my preference, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it just as is with that. All right, now, once you have this set up like this, you need to take a little bit of crazy glue or wood glue, whatever your preference is. I like using the Loctite Super Glue. It just works for me. Once you have that, oh, I forgot to do the back side of these. I'm sorry. Let me go back to this real quick. Okay. Once you have the back side of that, what you're going to do is you're going to take one of the ones that look like a C. I didn't go down quite far enough. Make sure I did on that one. And you're going to put a little bit of glue right along this edge. Then I'm going to put a little bit of glue right along this edge. Okay. 
then I'm going to put the two together, sandwiching them simultaneously, but keeping them straight and keeping my edges together. Should look like that. After you've done that, then you want to go back over this again on the other side. Then the one that looks like this, you want to go ahead and do the same thing. Line it up with the front and the back to make sure that it's even. Now when it's all done, you can sand all of this to where it's smooth. One of these I sanded, the other ones I didn't. This one, see how it's like smoother there compared to here, you can see the lines. Now, in here, I just put the glue on there because it's easier than to just skip it. Now you wanna go over to this piece. Oops, try not to get crazy glue on the outside and you want to repeat the same process we did for the first step. You want to sandwich them two together. If you're using Loctite, I don't know about other super glues, but if you're using Loctite, it adheres very quickly. So you don't have a lot of work time. If you want to have work time, then you need to use some wood glue and just wait for it to dry in between. So it should look like this. Now you need to give it a minute to set up completely on both of these so that they are both completely dry before inserting this piece. So while that's doing that, I'm gonna show you how I did my toast. You wanna get yourself a pair of pliers that look like this, and you wanna hold your toast. And then I like to use these blades from Dollar Tree, but the hardware store sells them as well. And then I'm just gonna go right down, keeping my fingers far away, just like that in between it because I like to split my toast. Now you don't have to split your toast because the toast will fit in here without splitting it. But I like to have it a little bit thinner because I just feel like toast isn't really that thick. Now take the side that you sand it and just go or you cut and just go over a piece of sandpaper just lightly, not too much because Believe it or not, that texture that it's gonna give it, it's gonna look more like bread than the flat side. But you do wanna get any loose pieces off. But then there you have your toast. And at that point, you can paint your toast whatever color you choose. I'm gonna paint it some brown use some acrylic paint. This is just some markers I have, so I'm just gonna do that for sake purposes of having just markers. These are acrylic paint markers, so it makes life a little bit easier than pulling out the paintbrush and the paint. And I'm happy with that, so I'm fine. 
you can go over it with some darkerness, darker markers, darkerness, what word is that? <laughs> And if you can see, I'm not sure if you can, but this is the side that was cut, so it's got more texture than that side. So that is something to look at when you're doing it. keep your edges like that if you want or you can paint them as well I'm just gonna kind of lightly go over it not completely but just enough to give it just a teeny bit of color variation you probably can't see that on the camera very well though just because it's very hard to see but there's the toast okay now for the next part, you're gonna make sure everything is dry, make sure there's no wet glue anywhere, and you're gonna set this piece in here, just like that. Now, this part is very critical to the end design. So do not use a lot of glue. You wanna go closest to the edge down at the bottom. So that way, when it flattens, it doesn't flatten up on this part and attach it to it with the glue. Same way with over here. Just do a tiny bit there. And then on this face piece, you're only going to use a little bit. And then you want to sandwich them two together, holding that piece there away from it. Now when sanding it, you can use an electric sander if you have one. Or you can just do this. And then sand that completely flat. And if you want your corners to be rounded instead of square like this, just go over it lightly. just like very lightly, not a whole lot. And just a little bit at a time until you get it to the roundness that you want it to have. Now some toasters are like completely square on the end so you don't have to do this if you don't want. I didn't do it with any of the other ones but I wanted to give you that option. Now I'm going over this part right here to blend this together a little bit. And the more sanding that you do, the more this will blend. On these, I didn't do a whole lot of sanding. When you get to the bottom, you're going to have to use a sanding block or you're going to have to use your hand to sand down here because 
this part isn't able to be sanded like the other part. Okay, so now once you have it sanded to your liking, then you can go ahead and paint it. I'm not going to use paint for this one. I'm just going to use the marker. That way you can see um, the lines a little bit and how they turned out. So, like where I didn't sand these, I don't know if you can see it the way I want you to. Let me put that on there real quick. I missed that corner there. Okay, now this one's with paint, so it's a little bit glossy. But I don't know if you can see the difference in where I sanded it. See how this has a straighter edge and this is rounded all the way around? That's what you would get if you had it sanded. And like, see how this is just a little bit bumpy where I didn't sand it, but yet this is smooth. Now, if you use acrylic paint or latex, that's not gonna show so much, but make sure you do it in thin coats. And again, there you are on the other side. And then you can put your toast in. And again, like I said, it will work with this. It's just it's a little bit tighter when you're putting it in there. And to get it to go up and down, you have to lightly sand these just a little bit because they don't want to fall back down once you pull them up. So if you don't want to cut them, just sand them on each side. until they want to go up and down. So if you want thick toast and you want it to go up and down, just sand it. My hands are filthy. Right? And that's how you do that. Hope you like this tutorial. Please like and subscribe. Leave a question, suggestion, or comment below. If there's something that you want to see made, go ahead and put it in the comments below or send me a message. All right. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.